whether we are working out or hanging out, we all need a good pair of sneakers. And Bradley Carbone, lifestyle editor of Complex Magazine, is here to help us choose from all the different styles and brands, which can be very overwhelming. Definitely. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. So you've you've broken it down very simply for us into three categories. Let's mm -hmm. start with the first one, lifestyle sneakers. What do those refer to? So lifestyle sneakers just refers to the category that people are wearing sneakers all the time now. So it's the kind of shoes that you can wear at any type of event, different occasions, real kind of casual footwear. And you can dress them up or dress them down, as we'll see with our mom. Models, so come on out, and then you can tell me about each pair. Sure. You look like a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, these lifestyle type of sneakers you can wear at any time. They're great for spring weather as things start to warm up a little bit. The first sneakers that we have in the back here are the Vans Authentics. Mm -hmm. These are a really great California-inspired lifestyle sneaker. They come at a great price point, $42. And they come in men's, women's, kids. They're very versatile. They're unisex. And they can you can wear them with linen pants, a light dress, you know, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. It's La like kids, sort of, aren't they? Sure. I mean, Vans is also one of the originators right. of this style. So both companies are really strong in this area. OK. Um, on the men's lifestyle here, we have, this is a special edition uh, Adidas, which is a Rod Laver Low, which I is designed for the soccer player David Beckham. Ah. So he wears these when he's off court. They design a special line of clothing for him, which includes these sneakers. These are a premium price point, since they're a little bit higher and they're designed for him. So they cost about $166. All right. So well, these are definitely a step I've up. I've seen more expensive. Uh -huh. That's for sure. <laughs> and lastly? And these are the Converse Chuckets, which are a takedown of the traditional Converse Chuck Taylor, which a lot of people know. It's a classic sneaker. These are a lightweight version. It has a mesh upper and a really lightweight bottom, which are great for spring. And they come in at $40 in kids, women's, and men. So another versatile unisex sneaker. What's your name? Zoe. Zoe, are they comfy? Yeah. You like them? Yeah, we like them too. Thank you, all three of you. Let's Thanks. go to our next category. These are workout sneakers, and here's where, for me, it can get so incredibly overwhelming. Mm -hmm. How do you choose? It definitely can be. Well, there's so much now with gym sneakers, training sneakers, toning sneakers. There's so much out there. So really, the best way to do it is to go to a store where people know, and they can talk you through all the different styles that are out there. Before we get to these specifically, you mentioned toning sneakers. We were mm -hmm. talking about them. They, they claim to tone your thighs or your bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, do they work? Um, they're extremely popular. You know, they've done really well. A lot of people are responding positively to them. And it's kind of started this trend of people wearing training sneakers all of the time. So that's right. why we're looking at these today, because training is this category where people are really excited about it and interested in it. And they're wearing these types of sneakers after the gym uh, and throughout their day. So they're keeping them on after the. But they're yes. also very good to work out, as we're going to show. They're great to work out in, and they're really comfortable. And they, they look good as well. They so do. that's interesting. All right, talk about the first pair. OK, so we have the ASICs. Um, Gel, gel too. I love those. Yeah. I love those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, this is a great. It's a running sneaker, but it works as a training sneaker as well. They're they're a nice price, eighty five dollars. Something that you can wear to the gym, but continue to wear all day because they're great for your posture. They feel comfortable when you're wearing them. Mm -hmm. Um, the second sneaker that we have here is the Nike Air Trainer 1, which is a, a new take on Nike's trainer sneaker. It's doing really well. They have a lot of their professional athletes work out in this shoe because it's great both on a hard court and on a field. Mm -hmm. And then over here we have the Reebok Zig. Which Those is, are funky looking. Yes. They're what pretty, is that on um, the bottom? So that's a new outsole that Reebok has developed. It's, it's kind of based off of a slinky, kind of the, the way the energy works from a slinky. The idea that it delivers energy to the forefoot while you're working out or training. You know, in the kid's case, it's just kind of running around, playing sports outside and things like that. Is the jury still out on whether they <laughs> deliver on their promise? Um, it's a new sneaker. It's brand new. People okay. really like it. It's available at Foot Action, Foot Locker, places like that. It comes in at about $70. And, um, you know, I don't know. They look really good. It's and so super we'll cool. Yeah. All right. Thank so you really so much. Sneaker. All right. The last category are sneakers that could be a little bit hard to find. They're in, they're in great demand. What mm -hmm. are these sneakers? So these are kind of more around your limited edition sneakers. So this is, is kind cool? of something at Complex. We do a lot of this stuff this harder to find stuff and often they come in different types of colorways and materials that are specific to a certain audience. Ah. So that's also part of the reason why they're limited edition because they're for certain types of people. Okay. You know, I mean, they, you have, we see some really bright colors here and you know they really stand out. Does this mean that they're also much more expensive? So I, Sometimes they can be a little bit more expensive. They often push up a little bit higher in the price point area. Mm -hmm. 
but um, depending on how limited they are and how in demand they are usually dictates the price. All right, tell me about the hot pink ones. So these hot pink sneakers are the Nike All Court, and they're actually not, they're about $75. So they compare fairly, fairly to the other sneakers. Um, but you know, you have a hot pink sneaker, so it appeals to a certain group of people, so that's why they're limited. But then the people that are in that category get excited about that and really go for something like this. Okay, and then those are way cool. Sure, yes. And so these are the Nike Lunar Chukka Woven. So this is a sneaker that, you know, it has this woven technology that Nike is known for, and it's kind of higher fashion sneakers. And the midsole is this lunar technology, which creates a super light sneaker that they have from their performance category that they've taken to this lifestyle category. Huh. Does it feel like you're walking on air? Like you're flying. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I mean, these are $110. So, you know, they're a little bit more expensive, but they're not too crazy. All right. Thank you, Bradley, yeah. so much. Thank you to our models sure. as well. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.